Xiao Dong greeted me at the airport and took me to the hotel last night. I was able to get a few hours sleep, and he's picking me up in a few minutes to take me to Skyfire. This morning, we're going to tour their EETO facilities, meet with all the managers, and meet with Runyon to discuss manufacturing my tube cutting chuck design. Skyfire's sister company is EETO Laser, who manufactures large commercial laser cutting machines. Skyfire was formed to be able to focus on laser repair, retrofitting, and selling laser components. They're able to leverage EETO's buying power in order to offer very competitive pricing on their laser components. It was really cool to see the scale of these large industrial cutting machines and to get to meet their staff and see them in action. After meeting with Zhu Zhi from Runyon to discuss tube cutting chucks, we recorded a podcast episode for Laser Insights China. As a result of that partnership, you are now able to purchase my chuck design on Skyfire's website. After a long day of meetings, we headed out to meet up with the managers and a visiting clients team for dinner. They arranged a huge Mongolian-style feast where there was much toasting over sweet Chinese wine, a full lamb, and lots of laughter. It was a fun night of getting to know everyone better. <laughs> Today is all about getting to experience Wuhan. We start the morning by purchasing tickets to visit Wuhan's famous Yellow Crane Tower. On the hike up, we stop for a few photo shoots and the beautiful scenery. Much of the video footage was filmed by Lena. I was so thankful to have her there. She tagged along to record much of the trip, allowing me to focus more on experiencing rather than filming. Yeah. <laughs> we made our way up to the top floor of Yellow Crane Tower. Then we took in the expansive view of the city while Xiao Dong explained some of the landmarks we could see. From there, we took a long walk down to the old town area of the city. I don't know any Mandarin, and I heavily relied on Xiao Dong to translate for me. We laughed as he pointed out when locals made mention of the foreigner. I was pleasantly surprised by everyone's friendliness and accommodating nature towards my language shortcomings. We ate an authentic Wuhan lunch, tried dessert from a street vendor, and got milk tea from a shop. <laughs> From there, we headed over to the Hubei Provincial Museum, one of the most well-known museums in China. Xiao Dong helped me get set up with an English-translated audio tour. Then we saw the Sword of Guzian, ancient bronze bells, and artifacts from the tomb of Marquis Yi of Zong. Then we went over to the museum's theater to watch this really fascinating production that was part video and part live action. From there, we raced over to meet the Skyfire team for a Tang Dynasty dinner theater experience. We all got outfitted in period appropriate costumes and the ladies got an additional makeup and hair treatment. Then we enjoyed an incredible multi-course meal with performances setting the stage before each dish was served. Back at the hotel, we exchanged some gifts for our kids. Okay, okay. Yes, no, your okay. baby. Your, oh, <laughs> Today, Bruce is going to demo some of EETO's large industrial laser cutting machines. At the time of this recording, I was in the middle of building my first DIY tube cutting machine. So we started the morning with an in-depth look at one of their tube cutting models. Bruce demonstrated how to use the software. We did a sample cut, then looked at some of the supplementary features, such as the tube stabilizers and loading features. Oh, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, you can check a hole. You can see a pipe. Yeah. This is for control. Yeah. Yes, control. Yeah. Yes, control. Yes, control. Yes, control. Yes, control. Yeah. 
but look at this result. It's a chair. Bruce just demo cut us out this chair out of some stainless steel square tube. Uh, using this uh, machine, it's a three kilowatt uh, with the autofocus head and it's running a uh, tube cut pro software. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive to see the result. It's super clean. Thanks Bruce. Next, we went over to demo a large enclosed flat sheet cutting machine. People often ask me if it's possible to also engrave text and graphics with these cutting machines. So Bruce demonstrated its engraving capability. Okay, now I can mark it. Wait, wait, wait. All right, what's that say? Oh, welcome to Wuhan. That's awesome. So yeah, there's a, an example of uh, using a laser cutter for marking. Next, we headed over to their welding machine area. Bruce is going to show me how to use their Cobot welder and let me try it out. It was really intuitive to use. We just moved the arm into position to mark the starting and ending points of the weld, then let it run and it would automatically trace the programmed path. Wow, that was really cool. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going too far. Slowing. Yes, slowing. He himself can't hold. Okay. Just, just. Uh, Alright. Okay. Now, you, 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 if you, if you look good, you can, uh, yeah, put here. Okay. Bruce just brought us some KFC so I can see what the difference is. <laughs> so what I just found out is that at KFC in China, you can get a hamburger. <laughs> After our quick lunch, we headed over to their laser repair center. Nine is going to explain fiber laser source repair and show us some of the tools they use in the process. So, uh, you see, uh, uh, there's several pumps yeah. uh, right here. Nine took us through the repair process of a single fiber. The first machine cuts the fiber cleanly. The second machine precisely aligns two fibers and then melts them together. And the third machine restores an outer protective sheath over the spliced area. So there is a UV light inside uh, of it. Okay. Now it is lighting now. Okay. Okay, so it's drying it right now. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, see, yeah, it has a thick layer over the whole spot there. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. Uh -huh. Nine must have incredible patience because it was a very tedious splicing process. The most he's ever had to repair is 14 fibers on a single laser source. He explained that they use a diagnostic software first to determine areas that need repair. After a long day of learning, we headed out to a Korean barbecue restaurant for dinner. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> that is very sweet. Yeah. But it's actually very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very rich. Yeah. I've never drank wine out of a bowl before. Uh, don't you, uh, Shenzhen. Yeah. To, to purchase. Andy's son wanted to come to dinner to meet the foreigner, and he said okay, but you have to say nice to meet you. He was pretty nervous, but he finally got it out. Okay. Yeah, very good. Nice to meet you. Very good. Today we headed over to the Optics Valley area of Wuhan to visit the Rekas headquarters. We got an extensive tour where we learned about their history, technology, and laser applications. Oh, glass welding. Welding, welding. welding glass. Here we got two pieces of glass mm -hmm. and welding together. An interesting note, they have a testing lab where anyone can come in and their technicians will help you achieve your desired results for your project. All you have to do is travel to Wuhan. This is acrylic. Acrylic? Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Oh, this is glass. Glass, glass. 
and only in the, at the focus area there is an explosive point. After the tour, I got to do a Q&A session with Mr. Duan Ki, Rekha's chief lecturer. He was an excellent communicator and gave lengthy, comprehensive answers to my questions. I'm going to be making a separate video of the full Rekha's tour and interview. That afternoon, we went back to Skyfire and Bruce filmed a video about cutting parameters and nozzles where I made a guest appearance. I can talk to uh, talk the people how can change the uh, how can change the change, change cutting the parameter. Oh, yeah. great. Got to go check out another okay. laser machine. So we'll catch up later. Yeah, see you later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a mostly travel day. We had a couple meetings in the morning, said our goodbyes, then headed to the train station. We're taking the bullet train a couple hours south to Guangzhou to visit the Canton Fair. EETO has a trade show booth there, and we're going to meet up with the team tomorrow. Three hundred and four kilometers an hour. This train is moving. We arrive in Guangzhou in the evening and take a taxi over to the hotel. We dropped off our luggage, then took another taxi over to eat dinner and experience the nightlife downtown on the Zhujiang River. I was just fascinated by all of the shops and the happenings inside. Downtown, absolutely everything was lit with neon LEDs and motion graphics. I want to give a huge personal thanks to Xiao Dong for being an amazing host, tour guide, and translator. I know it was an exhausting week for him. <laughs> The next morning, we taxied over to the Canton Fair. I was blown away by how absolutely massive this exhibition was. I had visited IMTS in Chicago a couple months ago, and I think this was about four times larger. Emily was our hero during the show. She helped us navigate the registration process and guided us to meet the team at the bus at the end of the day. Emily! <laughs> we made it over to the EETO booth where they were demoing their laser welder and their portable marking machines. Really clean. <laughs> we explored the trade show for hours and I got to see many types of unique manufacturing equipment. I found it particularly interesting how sellers could demo open frame laser cutting machines without regard to height protection. After the show, we took a nice stroll through the city to go out for a hot pot dinner. After dinner, Xiao Dong and I slowly ventured back to our hotel. It was such a pleasant walk, the streets were so full of life. The next morning, Xiao Dong escorted me to the airport so I could begin the long journey home. Thank you to everyone from Skyfire and EETO for making the trip such an incredible experience. We shared some great memories and strengthened our relationship. In between the glimpses of video that I've shared, we held many productive meetings and we have a couple collaborative projects in the works that I'm sure you'll be interested in. So stay tuned!